I would say that by now, uh, 2014, everything that could be, uh, you know, digitized in an obvious fashion uh, has been digitized. Uh, and the next couple of years in this decade, uh, we'll see uh, digital penetration of uh, the parts that uh, we didn't think were so obvious, or even the parts that where we thought it's probably impossible to do. And even uh, some of that will happen. What we will find is that uh, some of the devices will become smaller and smaller, so we'll be able to put more of them into the infrastructure and therefore turn what is today an analog infrastructure into a digitally penetrated and someday maybe a totally digitized infrastructure. And I don't see the limits to that and I don't think that it's particularly disconcerting that this is happening because it is helping both in our normal lives as individuals and it is helping to master our infrastructure on the planet and um, and make it more efficient and, and help us to use our natural resources better. So there is a tremendous opportunity here uh, on, on that grand scale of things, uh, but there is an opportunity here on the smaller scale of things, low-hanging fruits uh, for companies of all kinds of establishing new businesses, improving dramatically existing businesses. And with that, we are heading into a, a new era where uh, there is a uh, digitally transformed business and a digitally transformed uh, lifestyle. Now using these words uh, make a lot of people feel uneasy about it uh, because it sounds unusual and in some ways threatening. And I need to say that uh, there, is, there are dangers and perils in this uh, development and it takes a couple of uh, responsible technology companies uh, to stop and prevent uh, misuse and try to put it uh, uh, to good use.